Hey guys, I'm going to go over another way to curve a score if you want to use this. It kind of is a fair way that rewards all your students and not just the really low scores. So square root, cube root, those are good curves as well. The cube root is often what they use for state testing, but it often really rewards the low grades much more than it does the high grades. So this is a way to kind of reward everybody in your class. All right, so if we have a quiz that is worth 50 points, what we're going to do is find the class average in points. So the class average in points is add up the total points and then divide by the number of students we have. So if we add up these total points, we get 224 points. So 224 points divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 students. And that gives me a class average in points of 32. All right, so the first thing we needed was a current class average in points. So that's going to be the 32 right here. So if we want to find the class average in points, that's 32 out of 50. Okay, because the quiz is worth 50 points. And when we look at that, 32 divided by 50 is 64%. So that's, that's low for a class average. That's not passing. So we probably want to do something to help this class get a higher score. So what we can do is use this formula here. So we're going to take the current class average in points, which is 32. We just found that. 32 over x. That's what we're looking for. And then the desired class average in percent. So what do you want your class average to be? 78, 80, 83. Whatever you want your class average to be, you can put that right here. I mean, it doesn't matter. Let's do 80 just for this example. So we're going to do 80% over 100. Now you should be familiar with this. This is just a simple proportion. It's on the ACT, so most of your high school students should be able to do this. They learn it in middle school, but it's just cross multiplication. So you're going to do X times 80 and 32 times 100. And then you divide both sides by 80 because we're solving for x. And 3200 divided by 80 is 40. All right, so what we're going to do is change x. We're going to change what the number of points is worth. So the class still has average number of points of 32, but now instead of 50, the total number of points is 40. And 32 divided by 40 is 80%, and that's our desired class average. And this way it rewards every student, and we don't have to change each grade here we just change the total number of points that this assignment or assessment is worth. So like for John, for instance, he's going to have 48 over 40, which is going to reward him for his hard work and effort, the same as it's going to help all the other students in the class. So this is just another way to curve your grades. If you have any questions, please let me know.